February 28th, Saints Romanus and Lupicinus. St. Romanus had reached the age of 35 when he withdrew into the forest of the Jura Mountains between Switzerland and France to live there as a hermit. He took with him Cassian's Lives of the Fathers of the Desert, a few tools, and some seeds, and found his way to an uninhabited spot at the confluence of two rivers. Here, under the shelter of an enormous fir tree, he spent his time praying, reading, and cultivating the soil. At first, his solitude was disturbed only by the beast and an occasional huntsman, but before long he was joined by his brother Lupicinus and by one or two more. Other recruits soon flocked to them, including their sister and a number of women. The two brothers soon built the monastery of Condat and then that of Lucon, whilst for the women they established the nunnery of Le Balme, the site of the present village of St. Romain de la Roche. The brothers ruled as joint abbots in perfect harmony, although Lupacinus was inclined to be the stricter. He generally lived at Lucone, and when at one time the brethren at Condat were making their food more palatable, he came over and forbade the innovation. Although they strove to imitate the anchorites of the East, they were obliged to modify some of their austerities owing to their climate and other differences. The Gauls were naturally great eaters and these monks spent much of their time in very hard manual labor but they never touched flesh meat and were only allowed milk and eggs when they were ill they wore wooden shoes and the skins of animals sewn together which protected them from the rain but not from the bitter cold in the winter or from the summer rays of the sun reflected from the perpendicular rocks st romanus made a pilgrimage to visit the place of martyrdom of the theban legion he cured two lepers on the way and the fame of this miracle reaching geneva the bishop the clergy and the whole town turned out to greet him as he was passing through he died about the year four sixty and was buried as he had desired in the church of the nunnery where his sister ruled lupicinus survived his elder brother by some twenty years the austerity of lupicinus is much talked about but there are also wonderful things told of his compassion for his monks and of his spirit of faith when starvation seemed to threaten he obtained from god by his prayers a multiplication of corn which remained to them and when his subjects yielding to temptation planned to leave or actually quit the monastery he did not deal harshly with them but was only intent with animating them with courage to preserve their vocation